Hi, I'm Andrew. And I'm Dora. And we're Mr. and Mrs. K. We're a couple from New York that started this channel in 2021 to share our travel, food, and experiences. Follow us as we find new, interesting, and exciting things along the way. Boop. Good morning, friends. Today we're in Page, Arizona.、Uh, our plan is to visit the Antelope Canyon, and to do that, we have to book a. We had to book a tour. We got pretty lucky. When we booked this trip, it was back maybe like two, three months ago, and we saw that the the canyon tour was、uh, was all booked up. But then I think last week we checked again, and then they luckily they had three spots, so we immediately booked it, and we got really lucky with that. So this morning we woke up at like three, left the place at like four, made our way here to Page, which took about two and a half, three hours、uh, driving, and it was kind of threw us off guard because there was one point where between Page and Williams where the time changed, <laughs> like it went, it jumped an hour ahead. Which really threw us off because we thought, well, no, Arizona only has one time zone, but there was this one area, which was a which we learned that it was a Navajo Nation where the time there is a time difference, there is a hour time difference, and that really threw us off guard. So I drove extremely quick, hoping to to make it in time, but then that was kind of unnecessary <laughs> because. We are actually on time. We're actually super early right now. It's about six forty-five, and our start our tour doesn't start till seven twenty. So we still have some time to kill. And we're in、uh, Walmart right now. Dora and her mom they have to pick up some stuff, and we just used the restroom. But coming here was actually really nice. the 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 views are stunning. Like you see the mountains and stuff around. It's so beautiful. It was just really jaw dropping. So we. Took a lot of videos, so take a look.、Uh, we should be heading back to the tour, so we'll see you guys there, and then we'll show you what to expect at the、um, Antelope Canyon. Now we're at the、uh, Antelope Canyon tours, getting ready to, I guess, board that truck, and then it'll take us to the、uh, Antelope Canyons. All right, so we checked in, and now we have like 20 minutes to kill, so we're just probably gonna wait in the car.、Uh, Until it starts. I saw the 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 tour bus. I, I guess I don't know if it's a bus. Oh, it's the open air. It's like open air. It's the open air truck. I don't know if that is it. No,、if、I think they that, said that that was it. That makes me feel cold. <laughs> Another thing to note is that masks are required because I think we have to respect the Navajo rules. <laughs> Seems like there's a lot of people here, huh? Yeah, they're sold out for the day. I think we got lucky to have three spots in the morning. Yeah, this、and、is. I think this is. A, this is the first tour, right? This is. It's like 7:30 right now. Yeah, and my. I'm kind of glad that we picked the earlier ones. If it weren't for the time difference.、Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I think like along the way drive here, the scenery was amazing. Oh yeah, the、uh, that sunrise. The sunrise, yeah. Now we're following the tour guide, I think, to the. Truck or the bus? I don't know if it's a, called a bus or a truck.、Uh -huh. It's technically a truck <laughs> converted into a kind of like a bus. <laughs> Here we go. So after a very bumpy, bumpy ride, ride. It, we, was fun, it was really fun. Finally made it to Antelope Canyon.
We booked our tour through the Antelope Canyon tours. There are a few other tour companies you could book through. We're not positive, but we think that each tour company goes through a different part of the canyon. With Antelope Canyon tours, we were grouped and stayed with our tour guide throughout the duration of the tour. It was particularly nice because each group would proceed forward after the first one was done. The tour guides were incredibly nice and they showed us how to photograph using our phones and the best angles to take uh, the photos in. The tour guides would communicate with each other to see if it was okay to proceed forward so we don't get in the way of other people taking photos of the canyon. And I'm sure they know why people come to see Antelope Canyon and they want to give people the chance and the opportunity to really make their photographs without people in them. While our tour guide showed the perfect photograph spot, it was mostly the best angles of the canyon. With the speed that we were moving at with the group, it was a little bit challenging to really take photos of yourself with the canyon. Uh, there were a couple times where they would offer to photograph, and I'm sure you can ask, which isn't a big deal, but just know that it's really more photos of the canyon. Do note that tripods are not allowed on this particular tour, and I guess we could definitely see why. With the pace that you're moving at, it's hard to really set up and find the best angle, so don't bring a tripod. But we were able to bring a camera and a bag. And I say this because I read that some companies don't allow this. Like we said, our tour was early in the morning, so we didn't really get the light beams shining through the canyons. That is usually, I think, towards the later part of the day, like noon, and I think the best time to come would be for summer in those instances. Overall, the tour took about a little over an hour, and that includes going there and coming back. So our experience here today at the Antelope Canyon reflects really only the Antelope Canyon tours, not the other companies. So definitely do your research and see which one is best for you. Because I believe each company is different. But regardless, it was such an amazing experience and we would definitely recommend visiting. And I know the footage doesn't really do it any justice, but it really was beautiful. That was a great experience. Yeah, that's definitely like a one-in-a-lifetime in experience. Yeah. I think no matter what time we're coming in, we probably have a different, like, lighting inside the canyon. Lighting, yeah. So, I mean, we, we, this is the first tours of the earliest, so we didn't get, like, the like the sunbeams or the anything. Sunbeams, yeah. No, that's unfortunate, but it was still very, really pretty. And the tour guide did a great job explaining everything, too. Yeah. She has some uh, perfect photo spots. Photo tips and spots. So I think this is it. I think we're just going to go to... Go up. Go up. And then Here. take the truck back. finished Antelope Canyon. It was a really great experience. Do make sure to, to tip your tour guide. <laughs> yeah, I mean they had the signs. They had the signs all right over in front of us. In like different languages also. Yeah. So that was pretty funny. So I think that's expected. Make yeah. sure you pack some cash. But like they did a great job like educating all the Photo shooting. people and then like yeah they really taught you how to like get the perfect angle, the perfect shot, where to stand, where to sit, whatever. And yeah, I think they did a really great job, and I think it they was. deserve it. And I think the the ride was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was super Very bumpy. dirty, so like yeah. our, we were covered with dirt right now. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Now we're gonna head to Hoshuben. Yeah, it's about like a ten minute drive. Ten it's minute real close. Drive. Yeah, it's not too and bad. And we're gonna go and uh, walk around a little bit. Yeah, because right now it's uh, around what time is it? Ten? Oh no, nine nine forty one. Yeah, right. 941. Let's good. go. Made it to Horseshoe Bend, or the parking lot of Horseshoe Bend, which was literally like a 10 minute drive from Page. Well, actually, I think we're still in Page. <laughs> from, from that area where we just were. Anyway. There is a 
ten dollars entrance fee. So yeah. I, I don't know if they take cards. I think they said they did. Now we're gonna walk over. She said that it's about a three, three quarter mile walk, walk one, one way. way. So about a mile and a half round trip. Hopefully it's worth it. We'll see. So I guess that the time zone changed again. It's 11 o'clock here. But is it 10, is it 11, or is it 12? <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be 10 o'clock. Is it? I think so, right? Because we yeah, left at like 9.30, so I don't, yeah. think, I don't think we've been here for an hour and a half. Right, I think, as I explained before, so essentially this area is, is within Navajo Nation, but Paige is kind of outside of that drill graphically, so yeah. they don't apply the daylight saving rule. The Navajo Nation has that rule, yeah. so it's, it's one hour ahead throw us off a little bit. A lot. <laughs> you could drive like two minutes and it's a completely different time zone. Done here at Horseshoe Bend, and it was it was fun. It was a really it's just like a sightseeing kind of destination, right? So there's not like much else to do but to take pictures, and it's it's really pretty. Like regardless, it's it's super pretty. It's a nice uh, a stop. Yeah, if we didn't go to Antelope Canyon, I don't think we would come here like just for this. Yeah. If you do happen to go to Angelo Canyon, definitely make this detour. So now we're gonna head back to the car and I think we're gonna make kind of like a impromptu trip to Monument Valley. I mean, what's good about us starting the day extremely early is that right now it's still only 11 o'clock. So we still have like a full day. And Monument Valley from here is only like a two hour drive, which isn't mm -hmm. terrible. So I think that's what we're gonna do. And again, like we're in the in that area, so I don't know when the next time we're gonna be here is, you know. All right, change of plans. We're we're not really certain about the Monument Valley rules, and you know because it's on like tribal ground and uh, Navajo and Nation park hours, park hours, and the time difference. There's just so many factors that we don't know. Uh, and a little rushed. Exactly, and a little too last minute. So. We're just going to drive back down to Flagstaff and walk around there, grab something to eat maybe, and then probably just head home from there, right? All right, so I think that sounds like a solid plan. So we just parked, we're in Flagstaff now, uh, downtown, I think it's like the historical downtown area. Right, so I think we're just going to walk around downtown and find something to eat at night. And then probably call it a day. Yeah. But follow along. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> this girl. <laughs> this marketplace is pretty cute. There's coffee. There is like local Taylor shops. <laughs> Taylor Swift shop. Yeah, there's a lot of like cute, very hippie, like uh, local shops and stuff. A little bit of everything. 
felt like Brooklyn a little bit. Oh, with the leaves changing and stuff. Yeah, I think we caught it in the right time. Yeah. We missed fall in New York. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's so true. Not that we missed it, but it's just we didn't do any fall activities. Like, we didn't go out or anything, so. Right. finished our early dinner. I guess that's it for this video. We, um, what did we do today? Oh my goodness. What yeah, it was, we, like, we, we started off real early. So yeah, it was, it was a lot going on. But we started off real early. We went to Antelope Canyon and then Hoshi Bend came back here. So it was quite the day. <laughs> Yeah, I think a good thing about starting the day early is that we have a lot more time and different options to kind of weigh in. Yep. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. We release, release videos, videos every, every Thursday. Thursday. So we'll see you next week. Bye. Peace.